one of my friend was sitting in a cloud interview and he was applying for a cloud architect role and he was asked have you ever designed an event driven architecture or do you have an idea of how event driven architecture works and specifically can you explain at a high level how netflix manages millions of requests every day so today we'll understand what is event driven architecture and why in every cloud interview you are asked be it a cloud engineer interview cloud architect interview a devops interview you will be asked this question because this is now becoming the backbone of how different systems are talking to each other so today we'll understand it through a restaurant problem a real life problem understand what exactly is eda understand its high level architecture and also take a netflix example like how netflix does it and how uh, it is so successful today just because of even driven architecture and if you stay till the very end we'll also talk about some roles uh, some certification which you can do which has the potential of you know from 8 lakhs per annum to almost 35 lakhs per annum range okay if you can crack those jobs this is a market potential so if you stay till the very end i'm sure you'll understand what is even driven architecture and most importantly what exactly you need to learn to get a good package in the market so let's get started so let's start with a real life problem of a restaurant or forget restaurant let's take a roadside dhaba so imagine that there is a foreigner couple which has come to india and wants to taste the dhaba food what they'll do they'll come to the dhaba okay or if you don't know what is dhaba it is a restaurant on the roadside uh, which serves you indian food so what what is happening here so you will have customer okay and the customer will give order to the waiter the waiter will tell this to the kitchen staff or chef you can say they will start like preparing food and then it will be served through waiter back to the customer and then also they have to send it to the cashier to tell them that what they took or maybe the waiter has to go and tell to the cashier what was ordered so now in this what is happening is this is called as very tight coupling this is what is called as it is called as tightly coupled system because this whole setup is working on request and response request and response model but the challenge here is that if you see this particular waiter is the bottleneck in this system because everything is tied with it everything is tied with it so when customer gives the order customer is waiting then waiter is waiting for the chef in the kitchen okay kitchen staff is waiting again for the order cashier is waiting for the final list of items which the customer has ordered so this is kind of a very tightly coupled setup and here you have request and response you give some request and then you wait for the response now it is very good in a small scale application it is very good you don't need to be fast but imagine if this dhaba apart from one customer starts getting hundreds of customer on a single day what will happen the waiter won't be able to handle these many requests secondly what happens if the waiter goes off sick again a problem so this is the main problem of request response model which has been the traditional way of communication but in today's world where we have so many different systems talking to each other it's practically impossible to build a very scalable resilient fault tolerant and very performant system using this architecture and that's where comes event driven architecture so now let's understand what is event driven architecture so we understood the dhaba analogy okay so this is the dhaba now what we are talking about is mcdonald's so what is the mcdonald ar architecture in the mcdonald architecture the customer will have a, a ordering system customer will see the menu in that particular digital board and that digital board will be connected to an ordering system okay the moment it is ordered here in the ordering system this system will automatically you know whatever the order has come in will be picked up by different systems automatically okay so the back end staff the chefs or in the kitchen staff will uh, get the order and understand what to cook then there would be the cashier system or maybe the billing system which will pick up automatically and then there could be a third system which could be a feedback system which sends a feedback form or something back to the customer okay so what's happening here there is this central you know central system uh, on which the orders are coming okay these are kind of events which are getting created and every system is picking it up individually separately independent of any other system so the chances of it breaking down is very low because this system is very loosely coupled so instead of tightly it has become loosely coupled and that's what you need in a microservices architecture i have actually made a video a while back on microservices so go check it out and let me know if you need a fresh video we can discuss that in detail okay 
so this is how in real life i have i have, I have tried to explain what is event driven architecture but now let's understand it in more detail what is eda okay so eda is anything any system which is driven through event what is an event event could be anything okay so event is something where there is any action taken for example a user presses the buy button or when you are booking the cab in uber you press book that is an event and that event creates data and then data is then used by different systems okay so event is any action specific action specific so at a high level what will happen is you will have your event producers okay there could be many i will name it ep okay eps there will be event producers then there will be an event queue or we also call it as event bus and this bus carries all the event and then you have here event consumers so you have your ecs here so event starts coming in event starts flowing here okay and then these are picked up by these systems either pulled by these systems or picked up whenever uh, the systems are available now here comes a very important concept guys in event driven architecture the systems could wait systems could come to the event bus or event queue when they are ready there could be a time where you know a particular system is really loaded and it does not have the capacity to take any more events or orders or any action so it will let the queue hold the message for them and when they are ready they'll come back and pick it up have you been to the airport and when your luggage arrives have you seen that it is on the luggage belt it keeps on rotating so if suppose if airport staff starts physically giving every luggage to every passenger it would be a nightmare right the whole day would go just by for giving the luggages so what they do they are just dumping it into the belt that belt keeps revolving when you come in through your security checks and everything immigration go to the belt and you then wait for your own bag to arrive so it's a very good example to understand how uh, the event bus works so yeah this is the high level architecture now let's understand how netflix does it so now let's understand event driven architecture using netflix is example and this is a high level understanding of event driven architecture there is a very detailed technical architecture if you want we can go into the depth of what exact products we use but we can touch base some of the products now as well but then that would be uh, including a lot of different things like api gateways load balancers databases so if you want that comment below that i need to know the netflix technical architecture and we can make a separate video on that but at a high level a user wants to watch squid games on netflix and simply they just press the play button so the moment they press the play button it goes to the content service and then content service generates an event which is created and sent to this particular queue which is apache kafka so our apache kafka is that event bus service which you can use you have rabbit mq as well so these are two most popular ones for event management and then you will have some data generated in this uh, event which will be something like user id title of the program quality device all that now here comes an important concept in kafka or in any such event processing system you will have a concept of topic okay so all these events will be sent or consumed by this topic so the topic which is created is user viewing so all the events will be kind of messages coming and residing in this particular topic and this particular service is publishing this event publish okay this is called as publish and then this is the topic on which you know this event or this data is getting published and then all these different services will subscribe to this topic how you subscribe to a newsletter by the way you can subscribe to my newsletter as well uh, it is called cloud track and we talk about cloud so i'll put the link in the description but user viewing is a topic on which you know this message this event is getting published and then all these services are consuming it so uh, these uh, services needs to subscribe to this particular topic so we are not directly dealing with events we are taking events putting it into a topic and then that topic is getting consumed or subscribed to so it plays the event generate it is sent to a user viewing topic and then that is getting consumed by a recommendation engine so what recommendation engine will do it will it will say aha okay so this particular user likes web series like squid games so let me recommend more such things where you have theories of money heist or some crime thrillers all those kind of uh, programs let me recommend to the user okay the second is the billing the billing service will say okay so now you have consumed this many minutes of your monthly billing cycle the billing service will update that 
uh, using the data which is coming through this okay then the user profile now user profile will also get updated because now we are understanding better what this particular user is doing how many hours this user has consumed what are his preferences so we are kind of profiling this particular user better and then comes the analytics service so analytics service will overall understand and uh, see the data which is getting generated it will also see that what is the popularity of this particular web series how people are reacting to it how many people have given a thumbs up how many have rated it nicely and that particular service will also consume the data generated by this particular event and you know generate some analytics which can be used by the internal team okay so not every service will be for the customer there would be certain services which will be for the internal purposes as well to identify how a particular web series is performing how audience is reacting what we need to build or produce next in this particular series all that kind of thing at a very simple level i'm talking there are a lot of details all these services could be a different world altogether in its own sense but what is a very beautiful thing happening here do you do you notice that every service is working independently nothing is stopping these services to work on their own stuff while the user is watching squid games so everything is happening very very loosely coupled way and this is the beauty of event driven architecture that you completely remove these strong bondings of request and response and you try to do it very loosely coupled so i think now we have a fair understanding of it again it is you know it is an overview there are details which you need to build you might have to go and do certain uh, case studies and build your own projects but most importantly now let's understand what are the career options and what kind of salary packages are we talking about uh, obviously you won't get a package by only talking about even driven architecture uh, but yes in your overall career profile if you can add this it would add a lot of weightage so now let's go to the career section so friends coming to the career options while there are multiple career roles where this skill can be used i think the most prominent one is of a kafka developer this is very very actively hired by companies which are product based companies like uh, swiggy in india swiggy ola all these kind of product companies always actively look for someone who has development experience in kafka apache kafka and the salary range could be anywhere between 8 to 25 lpa okay now these are approximate numbers guys we can't be fixated on these numbers it the package varies on different things okay but yeah this range you can keep in your mind if you have some experience in kafka development or if you are applying for a kafka developer role the second one is of a data platform engineer or data engineer kind of a role okay data platform engineer now these are very very uh, actively hired by service based companies like tcs infosys wipro uh, accenture okay all these companies try to hire because there are lot of data streaming projects which continuously comes in and you need data platform engineers to make sure that they are developing those kind of data streaming pipelines because you will need experience on apache kafka spark flink all these kind of technology so data platform engineers and their salary uh could range somewhere between you know 15 to 30 lakhs in fact okay if they are experienced but at a you know at a beginner level also this package could be lower but very good role very very good role if you can get into this and last but definitely not the least is cloud or slash solution architect because pretty much everywhere you will have to design architectures and cloud and solution architects would have a huge demand not only for event driven architecture for overall designing robust systems on cloud and it is a senior role like if you are applying for a senior architect role this uh, package could range from 25 to 45 lakhs per annum based on your experience so these three roles are coming to my mind right now but as i said this skill is very valuable for any role you are doing even at a cloud engineer level if you can get into projects where you can hone your skills then it's a very good thing also you can do your own studies you can create your github repository and build some uh, data streaming projects build some microservices projects where you can showcase 
this skill set if you comment below maybe i'll add some uh, homework for you in the description you can go and try to achieve that in your free time so yes guys this is the event driven architecture i hope you found it useful again this is at a high level you have to go into the depth of it do the hard work of trying it out yourself but as far as i am concerned i'm pretty confident that if you apply your logic and apply your hard work into it it's not rocket science you can do it yeah i hope it was useful so until next time keep learning keep sharing keep growing bye for now